Before we go over single slit diffraction, let's define diffraction and the condition under which it occurs. So when a wave encounters an obstacle that has a size a that is of the same order of magnitude as its wavelength lambda, then it undergoes diffraction, meaning that its wave front is going to bend at the obstacle, become circular, and cause it to propagate in all four directions after the obstacle. Now we say obstacle on purpose because it doesn't matter whether you have a slit or a hair in the case of the laser beam that I drew. Now the slit, everybody's kind of on board. The hair seems weird. Why would light bend at a hair? Well, it turns out that it does, and you could anticipate that with Huygens' principle. But the point is that when light encounters an obstacle, be it an actual opening or a physical object that has a size that is about the same order of magnitude as its wavelength, it undergoes diffraction. And what happens is that the wavefront that was planar here before the slit bends and becomes circular, causing the light to propagate in all directions after the slit. Which is a little bit curious because you might anticipate that as long as you draw rays of light, it should just go through the slit, and then the width of the beam after the slit is the width of the slit. But because of diffraction, that's not what happens. So light actually propagates in all directions after the slit. Same is true in the case of the hair. Now, there's a common example of this in everyday life where you're walking down the street, your neighbor has their window open and their TV on quite loudly, and you can hear the TV, even though you can't see it. And the reason is that the sound waves emitted by the TV have a wavelength that about the same size as the dimensions of an open window, you know, both roughly in meters. So the sound wave diffracts at the open window and propagates in all directions into the street, and you can therefore hear your neighbor's TV even though you can't see it. Thanks for watching this video. At Congress Academy, we create custom study guides so that you don't have to. Send us your syllabus and some old exams, and we'll put together lecture notes, practice problems with step-by-step -step solutions, and classic exam questions so that you don't waste your time. All you have to do is log in and focus on studying what matters most. And if you have questions, we're available to help. If you'd like to learn more about how Congress Academy can help you do well, check us out at congressacademy.com. We look forward to helping you. See you there.